This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Um, you know, I emailed you a couple times. I'm Russell from the Keen Free Press. You were thinking that we needed a fire permit. Well, to, I was told uh, that you had that. Yeah, department. well, they must not know what they're talking about. It's, you know, it's winter time. I guess, see, we didn't really want to have a lot of any trouble with you guys about this particular thing. I heard that there's sort of an impasse here as far as the fire permit. I, but, well, that, uh, yeah, well, that won't be a problem because we're going to just do it, and since we won't hurt anybody and won't make a mess, you guys will go, oh, well, that, that was good. That, that was... Whatever you wish to do out there is fine. The issue is that it's the fire. <laughs> I can't speak for anybody. I'm going to melt them. Mm. <laughs> Slash birthday party. Here we go. Only in the FSC. Look out, there could be some backlash here. Whoa, there you go. It's hard for me to do justice to the way his events came off, especially since we don't have video of very many of them. But anyway, one of the ones was in 2006. He announces he's going to enter the IRS office in Keene and distribute anti war literature. Well, Homeland Security shows up. This one was partly caught, caught on video. Homeland Security shows up, takes him away again. Uh, and this one was, was uh, the, video, the video was taken of this one. They take him to jail, let him go the same day. As soon as he gets out of jail, he goes back to the same IRS office and gets arrested again for doing the same thing. So, I mean, so <laughs> then after that, he refuses to show up for the trial or the hearing or whatever. And uh, feds come through his front door, and here he is, being hauled off to uh, federal jail. Now, he tries to uh, make them drag him everywhere for a while. I'm not sure if he does it, does it all the way through this one, but basically, they start hurting him, according to his claims. And I've actually called the marshals about this to uh, inquire. To, there's just something they do with your hands that, that they hurt your hands so that it makes you walk or it makes you stop lying down, or whatever it is you're doing that they don't like. I lose track from arrest to arrest as to which ones resulted in which sentences, but usually it's a couple of weeks, a few days, time served, that sort of thing, or fines issued that are never collected. Eventually, he also starts getting arrested for a child support issue he's got. All right. <laughs> and uh, proceeds to do a great deal of construction work on a house that's not his. I guess I must be wrong about the child support thing being resolved because he's taken out of the picture again in Grafton around 2010 on this child support issue, which is too complicated for me to understand. The, the money the situation drove him out of the state. Uh, I guess he had a cheaper situation somewhere else or something, but he ended up back in he ended up in Texas. He and uh, Cat both ended up in Texas. So there he went to the nearest federal building. No oh, wait, no, not, my, my timeline is off. Sometime in 2010, I think he was arrested in New Hampshire for trying to chalk the federal building with a a, a message about Bradley Manning. Uh, so it's it's after that that he ends up in texas where he chalks a different federal building i think it's very complicated he's arrested for that too becomes a truck driver truck driver for at least the second time in his life things are going good he's got some pretty good good money rolling in i guess because uh, they you know he's sponsored some ads on the ridley report i mean enough that he's, he had enough money so he can afford ads on the ridley report that doesn't really say very much but most people don't buy ads on the ridley report and he did so things were going better, and then one day, I guess around um, December 28th, 2012, he is picked up on one of these warrants for one of these arrests that he had had in civil disobedience.
determine that you're not lying, you're out of your weapon, and you'll be able to at least run your weapon. I'm a real person. Okay. I mean, you look like a real person. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.